Welcome, in this one I'm going to show you how to find, using the cross ratio, a Mobius transformation. So remember the general form is uh, W equals AZ plus B, CZ plus D. And the goal is to find A, B, C, and D, and Z represents the input. I'm going to use this cross ratio here. So remember what that says, W minus W1, W2 minus W3 over W uh, minus W3. W2 minus W1. So you're going to put the W's in on that side and notice that one of the W's does not have a subscript because you want that to be the variable part. On the right side you have to do the same thing with the Z's instead. So you have Z minus Z sub 1 and then Z sub 2 minus Z sub 3 over Z minus Z sub 3, Z2 minus Z sub 1. So we'll just make replacements. Let's define some values for the different values of W and Z. So Z1 I'm going to choose to be 1, and then, for example, W1 will be 0. So in other words, Z1, using the Mobius transformation, will be sent over to W1. That's what that means. In other words, Z1 is your input, and then 0 here, W1 is your output. That's it. It's a basic input-output machine, as always. Okay, so here you have that Z2 is equal to 2. And let's say when I feed that into my Mobius transformation, it's going to give me that D, I'm sorry, W2 equals 1. So input 2, output 1. Next, input is 3, Z3 in other words, and that's going to give an output equal to positive infinity. So what we need to do basically is take these values for Z and W and plug them into the cross ratio. So let's do that. Okay, take a look. So this becomes W minus 0 and then 1 minus infinity, this replacing, and then W minus infinity on the bottom, and then 1 minus 0 in that position, just making replacements on the left side for the Ws. On the right side I have Z minus 1. 2 minus 3, z minus 3, and then 2 minus 1. It's making replacements for each z with a subscript on it on the right side. At this point, we got to observe something that, for example, w minus infinity has to cancel with the 1 minus infinity because they're both roughly speaking, roughly speaking, like negative infinity. So see, they cancel just about. That's going to give us the following. On the left side, right, if you look here, it's going to be W minus 0, which is W, on the bottom you have 1 minus uh, 0, which is 1. On this side, you're going to have Z minus 1, that stays. Then you'll have 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. On the bottom, you'll have Z minus 3. And then 2 minus 1, well, 2 minus 1 is just 1. Let's continue up here now. That's going to give me above my head there 2, I'm sorry, W over 1 equals Z minus 1 times negative 1. And then Z minus 3 times negative 1. Now, when you distribute the negative 1, you're going to do it as follows. It's going to go over to that negative 1 inside the parentheses and over to the z inside the parentheses. So I'm going to distribute that negative 1 just like the errors show. When I carry that out, it's going to give me the following. z times negative 1, that's negative z in that position above my head. And then negative 1 times negative 1 is going to give me positive 1 in that position above my head. And then z minus 3 times 1 is is z minus 3. In other words, this quantity above my head is the transformation we are looking for. What you could do, just to make sure it's correct, is maybe check it. So in other words, take a look. Imagine that I feed 3 into this transformation, so w of 3. That would be the following. z would be replaced with 3. So this would be negative 3, because remember, up here it's negative z. So it becomes negative 3 plus 1. On the bottom it's 3 minus 3. At the next stage, that's going to give me the following. At the top, I have negative 3 plus 1, which is negative 2. And this is 3 minus 3, which is 0 on the bottom. Lastly, that's going to give me infinity. Now, do remember something. The following is true here. That, this 3 that you are inputting here, where it says W3, that is Z3. That's the third value of Z. In other words, look. Z3 up here on the left side is 3, see? And it's supposed to output W sub 3, which is positive infinity. So if you look all the way on the right side, it actually does that. It gives positive infinity as the output. You see, and so it's W3 in other words. So Z3 goes in, W3 comes out. You can do these checks for the other cases. So what I mean is, you can check for Z1 and W1. Make sure you get the right output for each of these inputs above my head, the 1 and the 2. But I'll leave that to you as an exercise. The core of it is right here. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in another video.